members of the crypto cult noticed something conspicuously absent from the order page this week. Yes, Bitcoin has been removed as a purchase option. All Tesla news for the second week of May, part one. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Tesla finished the week at $589.74, down 11%. The Dow Jones, down 1% for the week. The NASDAQ, down 2%. And the Standard & Poor's, 500, down 1.3%. So yeah, the whole market was real bad, but Tesla got it worst of all. So what's bringing the stock price down? Well, there's still a lot of FUD out there. So, for example, Car and Driver published their bit uh, explaining the accident whole thing. Currently, neither Autopilot nor FSD is an autonomous system. Well, publications like The Verge decided to exclude currently and not put in an ellipsis, which is standard practice when excluding part of a quote. Neither, I mean, it's just so dishonest. And on that accident, NTSB issues preliminary report on the crash, in which they said, quite literally, there's no way possible uh, autopilot was engaged. This was entirely a human-centric accident. You get a super fast car, you drive like an idiot, you play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Houston Chronicle says owner started in driver's seat in deadly crash. Investigators find, hey, could you guys not do this? This is, this is ridiculous. Two men killed in spring were in the front seats moments before the wreck. Of course they were. The road is only like, what, 500 feet, 1,000 feet long? They crashed within hundreds of feet of the dude's house. Give me what I would like to think of as a break, a pretty please. On the plus side, Tesla, TSLA, could rally up to a thousand this year if China demand remains strong. Well, yes, uh, but we know the stock price is not exactly attached to reality. Otherwise, it wouldn't be as high as it is already, and it wouldn't have fallen so far since earlier in the year. White Bush analyst Dan Ives believes Tesla could soar back to a grand because demand in China remains strong. Global semiconductor chip shortage could be a temporary setback, but, you know, probably not as big as it is for others. And the bottom line is, <clears throat> to me, if you're not investing for the long term, what you're doing is gambling. Further on the plus side, Tesla Giga Shanghai expansion continues despite FUD and rumors. Yeah, look at that. Still clear and laying, still getting it flat, still looking like a filthy, disgusting, delicious snack. Yeah, uh, there's been rumor that, oh, things are falling apart in China. But there, what there hasn't been is evidence. And maybe someone's trying to uh, push down the stock a little. Who knows? But again, for the long term, you're in good hands. China EV SUV sales in April looking pretty good. Tesla Model Y topping the charts over Neo, Neo, Xpeng, BMW way down here with the iX3, but that's exciting because it's a foreign brand. This is, you know, to me at least, expectedly good news. Yeah, they're making a lot of units and they're selling them with a lot of room left to grow. More good news, Tesla insurance to offer 70% discount based on driving data. So Progressive has this uh, fun little gadget you plug in to your OBD port that monitors your driving habits in ways that are mm, not very good. They call it snapshot. It's uh, kind of trash. If you brake too hard, even if that's the responsible thing to do, uh, you get dinged. This would look at a more comprehensive picture of your driving patterns and assess risk accordingly. And guess what? If your risk is too high, you get booted. Go back to progressive, my friend. And in the meantime, Tesla will only insure the best drivers at the lowest rates and make a fortune because, you know, the risk is lower. 
Further on FUD, Tesla Giga Berlin slated for a late summer start, according to the economic minister, who reiterated production dates. There was this rumor that Giga Berlin would not be able to operate until, who knows, middle of next year. But there was only one source for it, and I called BS on it early because I need a second source, or at least a valid one, and it turns out that Automobile Woche may be, uh, maybe jumping the gun a bit, if I can put it politely. I don't believe it now, I didn't believe it then, and several <laughs> people willing to go on the record have confirmed as much. Tesla appoints a director for its operation in India. What we don't know is what they're going to be doing in India, but we're very excited to find out. Uh, it could be a Model 2, or something even smaller, a Model AF. So we have the whole uh, sexy AF lineup, but uh, it would be great to hear your thoughts on what you guys think is going to be built in India. Is it just going to be power walls, mega packs, solar equipment? You tell me. Members of the crypto cult noticed something conspicuously absent from the order page this week. Yes. Bitcoin has been removed as a purchase option. Elon Musk says Tesla will stop accepting Bitcoin for car purchases, citing environmental concerns. And by the way, you crypto scammers who love to spam the heck out of my comments, uh, please don't. <laughs> I know I'm talking to bots, but please don't. If you want anyone to believe in your cryptocurrency, don't do that. That tells me it's a scam and that I am not in control of its value. You are, and the minute you turn off the spam machine, the value's gone. Dogecoin tumbles after Elon Musk calls the virtual currency a hustle. Well, that's classic Guardian and uh, reasonably untrue. No, uh, Doge began falling in value as soon as the episode started and did not stop falling until the episode ended with apparently little to no correlation to when the Dogecoin bit was mentioned. Uh, Dogecoin's a it's, a, it's a meme crypto. Come on, man. What'd you expect to happen? If you're buying it, um, you know, I... I don't know why, apart from, again, gambling. And people are losing their butts on this stuff. Over on Reddit, we can see folks in the GME subreddit, the GameStop subreddit, losing their life savings because they think they can outsmart the big dogs. And some of them did. Many of them did not. If you don't know what you're doing, please don't do it. Thank you to everyone who leaves a comment, and especially those who support the channel on Patreon, who enjoy a bonus content, a early access, and an ad-free experience. I can't do it without you guys. Can Bitcoin ever really be green? Well, if you look at this place in Russia, it looks like the Green Mile. These are all cards burning power to try and churn in some crypto. This is... I'm just going to say right now, this does not look like a sustainable practice. It would certainly explain why, why chips are in such short supply. Cryptocurrency is a notorious climate culprit. A Cambridge University study in February concluded the global network of Bitcoin miners sucks about as much electricity annually as the nation of Argentina. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a carbon problem. And sure, you can mine without without coal uh but power is fungible and it has to come from somewhere and a lot of the grid still comes from coal there are other cryptos that seek to use far less power but it looks like a solution in search of a problem on the crypto bit elon tweeted himself Tesla has suspended vehicle purchasing using it. We're concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal. Crypto is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at great cost to the environment. We will not be selling any Bitcoin, and we used to intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to more sustainable energy. I don't know, man. There's a lot of uh, complaints on social media saying, oh, Musk is all pump and dump. Yes, 
Except he isn't, because he didn't dump. So maybe keep your hate in check. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. As much as 365 ababa, ababa billion dollars wiped off cryptocurrency market after Tesla stops car purchases oh, with Bitcoin. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if your currency is that fragile, maybe it's not something you should be invested in. Uh, I would like to have a time machine to guide my investment decisions, but since I don't have one, I just invest in things that I fully understand and believe I know the control mechanisms surrounding. Did you know I want to buy a tree on your behalf? Subscribe and I will do it. Every new subscriber in May is one mo tree am I going to buy. I just thought that would be a cool promotion to do in the month of May. I've got a tiny advertising budget, but why not put it to good use? I mean, right? So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me a gold-plated brain load in the comments and stay tuned. I stay juicy and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity-flop.